Hello, my beautiful friends. Hey, today, I should say hello, beautiful, because <laughs> I'm talking to you. Okay, today I'm going to do another entry in my um, daily scripture writing journal. I am absolutely loving this book, absolutely loving it. So if you haven't been watching, I've been writing th through the book of 1 John. Um, I made a commitment to myself and to God that I would do this at least twice a week. So I've been doing really good so far and I've never stuck with things in my life, but I'm actually enjoying this. I think because I chose uh, an entire book to write through, it's holding me more accountable because I want to get through that book. So um, it's been really fun. I can't wait until I get to study First John in depth someday. All right. I wrote, I wrote verse seven. So Let's go ahead and do verse 8. So this might be a little bit of a long video because I have not written down the scripture ahead of time. I went into my daughter Serenity's room and got some fun goodies to decorate this page. And so I tried to find some pens that I had that kind of went along with the little goodies that I have. And so um, I'm going to use some fun pens. So let's see, what do I want to write my scripture in? Let's just use this. This is like a magenta color and it's in my paper mate um, flare pen pack. I think these are on my website. If not, there are lots of other pens there and you can go there and click on anything and look for the Papermate flare pens and it helps support my ministry and no extra cost to you. Hey, today is October 1st. Isn't that exciting? 10, 1, 21. Who is the author or who is speaking in this verse? Well, we already know it's the apostle John. I do not need to write that every time, but I don't want to leave it blank. The Apostle John. Ooh, this is like a wet, I haven't used my paper mates for a while. I feel like it's really wet. You know what I mean? Like a lot of ink comes out. Um, okay, so verse 8. So 1 John 1, 8. And I don't know how many scriptures I'll be able to write in this space. So I'm going to try to write and talk at the same time. However, I'm not very good at it. So let's see, what can I tell you today? My daughter Serenity made us um, gluten-free because I have a wheat allergy. She made us gluten-free pancakes, pumpkin pancakes, might I add, this morning. And um, she used almond flour, which we decided isn't really our favorite. It has kind of a nutty, te uh, gritty texture to it. But they were delicious, and she's so stinking cute. She made them into the shape of pumpkins in the pan. And so I just got done eating that yummy goodness, which was super fun, with some scrambled eggs. And uh, last night, oh my goodness, and I gained weight when we had COVID because I can't take like Tylenol or ibuprofen at all without food in my stomach, and we couldn't really do much. So for like almost two months... I was just sitting around, you know, eating all kinds of food so that I could take pain medicine. And uh, I gained 10 pounds, I think. My husband lost like 20 and I gained like 10. So unfair. So anyway, I'm trying to, trying to lose a little bit of weight slowly. I don't want to do it too fast. Um, for one thing, I don't like to starve myself. But another thing is um, when you do it too fast, I feel like you gain it back really easily. So I'm just doing it slowly, kind of cutting back a little bit on what I eat. But last night, my husband, all right, let me back up a little bit. If you haven't been watching this, we had COVID, okay? And my husband and I have been married for almost 20 years, and he used to cook a lot. He grew up, um, his grandma, I always thought they were Italian, but they aren't. Um, we had his, like, I know I'm telling you all kinds of stories, aren't I? We had his, like, DNA thing done, and I guess they're, like, not Italian, so they were, like, Portuguese or something. But anyway, I always thought his grandma was Italian. She used to cook all the time, and so he spent a lot of time with her. She ended up raising him and his um, older sister. Okay, anyway, she used to cook all the time, and she was a really good cook. So he learned how to cook. When we first got married, when our two oldest kids were young, he would cook dinner a lot. And he really is a good cook. And he hasn't done it for years, okay? Well, when he's been off work because of COVID, I was trying to find things. He really was struggling with his energy and, like, desire to do things. And so I was trying to find things that he liked to do. So I suggested that maybe he could um, start cooking, try to, you know, make us some dinners. 
I was back to work and so I almost work maybe not full time but I I put in a lot of hours each day towards all of the aspects of my ministry so I was back to work and he was just sitting trying to heal okay so I was like hey why don't you make some dinners for us like that would be super helpful since I'm back to work Serenity doesn't want to cook every night. She cooks for us most nights. She loves to cook. And so she cooks for us most nights. Um, but so anyway, he's been making some dinners. And last night, he made, um, oh my goodness, it was so good. He made baked apples, okay? And he put, it was basically like an apple crisp on top, but they were mostly apple, okay? So it was super good. But I'm eating it, and I've got my dairy-free ice cream. He used the almond flour to make, like, the crumble on the top of the apples. And I'm eating it, and I'm almost done. And uh, I said, what kind of butter did you use? And he said, well, it was just, like, unsalted butter sticks. And I'm like, um, that's not dairy-free. And he's like, or I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to eat that because I have a dairy allergy. And he said, well... <laughs> whoops <laughs> he didn't even think about it he was following his little recipe that he wrote down it was so stinking cute and I had two of those apples so two, uh, ha uh, two halves okay with this crumble on top and we had the dairy-free vanilla ice cream on top and it was so good anyway it didn't make me sick okay right after um I was starting to feel a little bit better from COVID I had bought some crackers that bunny crackers that are normally like uh I'm trying to talk to you while I do this are sins whoops admit that we have sinned and confess our sins I don't even know where I'm at oh comma okay and uh where's I going with this okay anyway so we've been using instacart which I absolutely love I'm gonna link it below if you guys don't know about instacart it's amazing they go grocery shopping for you okay and it's better than when Walmart does it and delivers it because the Walmart employee does it, okay, which is great, except the Walmart employee is getting paid through Walmart, okay? And Instacart, I, I believe that they pay them too, but you can choose how much you tip them. And it's like a local person here. I don't know. It just felt more personal. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe. I don't know. In my mind, it was more personal because I was able to, you know, say thank you, tip them when they brought the groceries, but they personally shop for you. And when we were sick with COVID, that was life-saving for us. So we've been using it a lot still because it saved me hours of grocery shopping. Not to mention, we don't want to get sick again. So we're being very careful until we're fully vaccinated. So the lady brought, um, I don't know, it might have been a guy this time. The guys aren't as careful. No offense, guys. But they aren't as careful with what we pick out. They... Um, mess up a lot and anyway um which is funny because my husband put real butter in the apples where my daughter would not have done that um bless oh men's heart god just made us different right and so they bought me these bunny crackers graham crackers that i could eat with my uh tylenol and ibuprofen and they said um organic okay so i just assumed they were the bunny crackers because they're the same brand that were gluten-free and I ate like a cup full of them. Realized after, right after I had eaten them that they were not wheat-free, they were not gluten-free. And I was in tears, I was like, oh my goodness, I am gonna start vomiting because when I have wheat, I vomit violently. I did not get sick, it was unbelievable. And so I thought, well, what if COVID did some weird thing to my immune system, and I no longer have food allergies. I'm running out of room, so I'm gonna have to go to the side here. I'm really not liking the color of this pen very much at all. Um, anyway, so I had, um, oh, what did I eat one day? A Rice Krispie treat, like a packaged one. Um, someone from my husband's work had brought us some snacks and stuff for the kids while we were sick, and so we had these Rice Krispie treats. Well, they have dairy in them. And probably not a whole lot of it, but I don't know, butter. And it didn't make me sick, okay? So then I was like, okay, I shouldn't push it. So I haven't done anything since then until last night when my husband made these baked apples. And I didn't get sick at all. Y'all, I didn't get sick at all. I couldn't even believe it. 
Um, so I thought, you know what? One day, tonight I have a Zoom uh, Bible study, which I'm super excited about because we're going through Revelation and we, we're doing chapter one tonight. So I don't want to do it tonight, but I think this weekend I might try like a whole piece of cheese and see what happens. You know, maybe work my way into a little bite of wheat and see what happens. And I don't know, it would be crazy if having COVID did something with my immune system and I no longer have food allergies. Wouldn't that be crazy? The bad thing is I would want to go eat Casey's Donuts because, and Casey's Pizza. Do you guys have a Casey's? I loved before I had out. I didn't get these allergies till I was like 40. I loved Casey's Donuts and Pizza. Now, it sounds like we don't eat healthy at all, but we actually do. We have a ton of healthy food in our house. My daughter, Serenity, loves like cut up vegetables with hummus and um, we eat tons of fruit and stuff. And so um, we actually eat a lot of healthy food, but you know, we like our sweets. So anyway, it would be bad if my allergies were better because I would just eat tons of food and that would not be good. Write it down. So let's read it together. If we say we have no sin, refusing to admit that we are sinners, we delude. Is it that word delude? Yeah, delude. We delude ourselves and the truth is not in us. His word does not live in our hearts. If we freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sins, he is faithful and just, true to his own nature and promises, and will, whoop, I missed a word there, and will forgive, I forgot the word forgive, his own nature and will forgive, good thing I can sneak it in, our sins and cleanse us continually from all unrighteousness. What's unrighteousness? Our wrongdoing, everything not in conformity with his will and purpose. Okay, so I'm using the amplified version. I've explained this before. It's perfect for morning devotionals because it adds in this extra information, okay? So anytime you see these brackets here, that's extra information that it's giving me. The first thing I want to do here, it says, did I learn anything that I can praise God for? I want to identify God in this. This is what I always do whenever I'm reading the word of God. His word. He is faithful and just. His own nature and promises. Okay, so here's his will and purpose. Sometimes I just underline like his or the name God. Um, and sometimes I underline what belongs to him, the action word after his name. It sort of depends on my mood, um, how I do that when I study the Bible too. So this says, did I learn anything that I can praise God for? And I think I want to, I'm going to get out my Mr. Pen highlighters here. This is going to be a little bit busy, but I think I want to highlight these questions. This is the great thing about these books and my interleave journaling Bibles is you can highlight in them and they are not going to um, bleed onto your highlighter. So I love that feature of my interleave journaling Bibles um, that I published. This book I published myself, if you didn't know that. There is one for teens and one for men and they are so stinking cute. The covers are really pretty. Um... And I'm loving this book. I'm seriously loving this book. Okay. I will do that with my Mr. Pen highlighter. Ooh, I love that color too. Okay. That's actually almost spot on with this friction marker. Wow, what messy writing that is. Okay, who cares? Did I learn anything that I can praise God for? Okay, so we learned that his word does not live in our hearts. No, that's not about him. He is faithful and just. I'm going to try to write nice. God is faithful. I want to give you a little nice writing hint, okay? If you slow down and pick up your pen after every single stroke, then your writing looks nicer. It Like automatically your writing looks nicer. I tend to hurry and so I'm a mess. But when I do slow down, it looks better. So if you're wanting to like improve your writing, Slow down and pick up your pen in between every letter. God is faithful and just, true to his own nature. I'm just going to put a comma. True to his own nature. I'm starting to get messy. See that? And then he's true 
I'm going to put a comma and true to his promises. See, I love this about the Amplified. It's adding in this information for me, which is helping me understand it better. True to his promises. Um, God forgives. Forgives. God cleanses. So I'm pulling this all out of what this says up here. Okay, so that is what I learned about God, okay? I'm going to just put some little dots here. And then it says, did God tug at my heart about something I need to confess? Let me think about this for a moment. If I refuse to admit I'm a sinner, we delude ourselves, and the truth is not in us. His word does not live in our hearts. Okay, I found something else that is kind of about God, but kind of about me. God's word lives in my heart. So this is about his word. Okay. Um, God's will lives in my heart. All right. So did he tug at something? I need to be honest with myself, with myself. and with God about my sin, period. Okay, um, we freely admit we have sinned and confess our sins. He is faithful and just. Okay, so I need to be honest with myself and with God about my sin. I need to confess, and this part I'm adding my own quickly, and fully. That's something he tugged at my heart about. Quickly and fully. If you sit in silence after you write scriptures, you seriously will feel, not in all of them, not in all of them. In fact, in Revelation, there's not a whole lot. So far, we're doing chapter one, that I've found that I can confess. There's not always things you can confess, and that's that's a good thing. But if you sit in, in silence and read the scriptures again, he will put something on your heart that you need to confess. If it's there, it's not always there. And your confession will be different than my confession, okay? The things that we learn about God shouldn't be different. You may word it a little bit differently, but it shouldn't be different. But this confession here, this is going to be unique to you. Okay. Okay. What did I realize that I need to thank God for? Let's see. We want to thank him that he forgives. He forgives. So sometimes it's going to feel like you're writing the same thing for thankfulness and praising. And that's okay. That's okay. They go together hand in hand a lot. And in fact, confession and asking him for help go together hand in hand a lot. Because you're going to ask him to help you not do these things. So that's okay. What do, okay, I'm thanking God. He forgives me when I confess my sins. This is going to be a long video. I apologize, but some of you like when I walk through it completely. And yesterday I just did a Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I hate to use the word follow because I want you to follow Christ. Don't follow me. Follow Christ. But if you don't see my Instagram posts, then you may want to do that. I'm going to be using that a lot more. That's my plan here anyway. He forgives me when I confess my sins. Word lives in my heart. I'm just going to say his word lives in me. And then he cleanses me. from my sin. So he forgives it and he cleans it from us, which is amazing. What did I realize that I need God's help with? I need to learn to sit in silence more. That's so hard for me with ADHD. I need to learn to sit in silence more. I'm going to make my own brackets here in his presence. 
and listen to him. Okay, um, I want to put so that I can confess my wrongdoings. Whenever I think of something I need to confess, I try to confess it right away because I don't want anything. I don't know when I'm going to die, for one thing, and we're all going to be judged. Um, and so I want to just confess things right away. And someone very wise once taught me that if you think of something even from years ago that you did that was ungodly, confess it. Confess it to him. He already knows it, but tell him about it. Okay, write a prayer and let God know how you plan to apply these lessons and truths to your life. I'm going to pause this while I do this, and then I will come right back on. Okay, my beautiful friend, here's what I wrote. Um, if you haven't been watching this, I use the ACTS acronym to write my prayers. And so A is for adoration, which is this. C is for confession. T is for thanksgiving. And S is for supplication. So I followed that exact guideline, but used my own words from my, my heart, okay? Father God, I praise your holy and just name. You are righteous God, true to your nature. You are a forgiving God. Please forgive me for not realizing, listening to you, my sin and confessing immediately. Look at this mess of immediately. I mixed up the E and the I and so I had to fix it. Thank you that you cleanse when I confess. Please help me sit in silence and hear your voice convict me. I want to tell you about conviction for a minute. I absolutely love when God convicts me at church. Like, I like to walk out of church and and be corrected, okay? Conviction and condemnation are two different things, okay? Condemnation is what the devil does. He makes us feel guilty about things. God doesn't do that. God convicts us. He pokes at our heart and goes, hey, you're doing that. Don't do that anymore. I absolutely love to be convicted. As much as I hate it, if that even makes sense, it's sort of like exercise. Like you, you don't really want to do it necessarily, but once you do it, you feel so much better. Well, conviction is like that. If you sit and listen to him when you are reading his word or a pastor is preaching his word, you will be convicted and, it, and you will learn to love it because it's going to mold you to be more like Christ. And isn't that our ultimate goal? We want to be more like Christ. Okay, so here's my little goodies that I've got and I'm going to figure out how I want to use them. I picked read a book from her collection. Um, I don't know how I want to use that yet, so I'm going to hang that there. And it's because I want to like read, not just read a book, but read the book, right? So let me cut these out. I forgot to do it. These I got offline a very, very long time ago, and I have absolutely no idea where they came from. So I don't know how to tell you where to get them. I should design some fall stickers in my Etsy shops, shouldn't I? kind of feeling creative today I might do it it's so funny because the first page I did in this I said I lost my creative mojo we were on a walk um in the morning one day last week and I was like oh my goodness husband I call him husband isn't that funny I lost my creative mojo and sure enough I got it back the next day God just needed me to say hey I lost my creative mojo. No, he didn't say that. Uh, but God's the creator. He's creative. He made us, each of us, creative. So even if you think you're not, you are. Just know that you are. Um, if you're interested in the sticker paper that I use, because you could see that I just peeled that up when I mess up, um, it is on my website under Nikki's Picks, okay? And anytime you shop there, no matter what you buy, it, no matter what you buy on Amazon, if you just click on one of my links, I am blessed. And it's a huge, huge blessing to my family and my ministry. There we go. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And since I already have this stuck together, I might literally just use this like this because it's kind of cute how it's like off center and a mess. Um, so I guess I needed some more washi from her, didn't I? And I don't have it. So I'm just going to have two things in this page read a book and then let's see where do I want this to go it's cute it's fall okay so what I want to write here is read the book I'm gonna make this an arrow how about that 
read the book. Oh, that's a mess, Nikki. What on earth are you thinking? Let's see if it wipes off. Oh, it does. Woo, woo. So I'm actually just gonna smear that color on there. Read the book. Let's just do a little tiny carrot there saying, hey, this is it. That's funny. Oh, it's such a mess. Okay, so I have this brown and I didn't do anything with it yet. So let's just for fun, add some lines. This is why I love these grid dots in here. Because even if you think you're not creative, you can follow a straight line. If you can't, use a ruler. And you can draw some little boxes or lines around your verses. So this is the kind of thing that I'm doing in my interleave journaling Bible, which if some of you have watched some of the Proverbs videos, you've seen me do that. Just make it kind of fun. Let's do this one. Sometimes I don't follow the grid lines and that's okay too. So there it is, kind of ugly, but it's okay. It, it's all good. God knows my heart and that's all that matters. In fact, it's really kind of ugly. I love the stickers, but this is such a mess, you guys. I should not have used this pen and I should definitely not have wrote it while I was, I was gonna say on the phone with you. While I was on the, uh, well, it's my phone that's filming you while I was talking to you, right? Because I made a mess of it, but maybe tomorrow I'll write it ahead of time again, or if I do one tomorrow. Let me know if you're liking these videos, and let me know if you like when I tell you these crazy stories. Um, yes. Okay, so I will see you soon. Bye. The fire. What did you say? Give me all stickers. You want your own stickers? What are you going to do with them? Um, I'm just going to draw. Okay, I will get you your own stickers. I don't like. What don't you like? Uh -huh. Hey, you should definitely watch this video next. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we would love to have you join our crazy little community Bible study by clicking on the picture above the join now. See you soon. Bye.